Well guys, I'm on a new property here and I forgot my waders, believe it or not, and it's a, a long drive and I'm not very bright, but we're gonna make a just a simple caster mount here without getting in the water like we normally would. It's gonna get all their attention. Trap's gonna go right here. We're just gonna make it so we don't get in the water today. We can still do everything we need to do. We're just gonna do it the hard way. We got a dam there. We're at the big we're at the top of the pond. There's a big pond below me. And there's another pond with a really big crossover onto another property. We're not gonna go over there. We got some cuttings over there. Cuttings on this side all along here. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna start with a caster mound. We'll work our way to dam breaks and so forth. But we should be able to pick some up like this. I would say pretty simple. Get my trap set first since I'm going to be completely backwards, guys, I guess. Completely backwards from how I usually trap. A little bit warmer, I just hop in. It's not quite there yet. We're not quite. <laughs> So you're gonna see it from a different perspective. Be like, someone will be going, like, why don't you get some waiter, boy? It's like, shut up, I am gonna get some waiter. Eventually. As you can see, tramp going down just off to one side here. Solid. Gonna stick here, that'll work. I like to get a shiny, woo! Here we go. I get their attention. They're hungry. They're hungry, boys. Getting mud all over everything. A little bit of my Trapper Jay's beaver lure right here. Hopefully, we're deep enough to keep the coons out. We have, oh, we're in Iowa, so we have a major raccoon trail going this way, too. Whew. Some big old tracks, but there's a set in there, boys. Uh oh, Danny Lion in the country means we're very close to morel mushrooms. Well, there's a set there. I don't really see the crossover. It's probably a young, young beaver living on this end. I don't really see a way out right at the moment. So this is what we're, all we're gonna do on this end. So the beavers have a trail. I can see a tunnel out there going all the way along this thing. And there's some kind of dam there, mud dam. But then beavers have made them. It's a deep canal out there. They're swimming in the winter. Huh, that's interesting. I haven't been over here yet to see any of this. This is all new. There is a mud levee. They're climbing it out here. Going to a hut over here, it looks like. I can't tell if it's a new hut or an old hut. But look at this little levee here. Where they dug the ditch to their... They've dug a ditch going over here to this. And I don't know if I can trap it right now without having waders, but we're definitely scouting. It's windy as hell. Huh. Doesn't look very deep, but I see a run right here. This might be old-ish. There's a run here. But I don't think it's very deep. I 
Eh, looks more like muskrats. There was a beaver running through here probably last year. You can see they dug this thing, but I bet this is muskrat running right here. It was in right there. Oh, guaranteed. Guaranteed muskrat run right there, boys. Well, we got a hut there. And there's all bank dens everywhere, guys. You wouldn't believe the damage they're causing with the bank dens. But I stopped here yesterday, and we got two crossovers, right? Or one crossover will put two traps here. And we got a lot of muskrats in here digging and tunneling. I see droppings everywhere. So we're gonna have to fight those guys out of the traps, but the homeowner wants them out. They're gonna be, they're, they're just bank, they're just digging everywhere. I mean, everywhere I look. When I blow this dam, you'll see all the bank dens when it dries. There's gonna be a bunch of them. But we're gonna put a trap here and we're gonna put one down there. And then there's another dam down the way here. And we'll put another one. We'll just keep working our way around here. This is day one. There's nothing we can... Look at all the corn. This is all corn right here. It's just... I hauled in so much corn when it was still up. That's a lot of damage, guys. I mean, this whole thing is corn right here. So much damage. I'll get a picture for the homeowner. I'm sure he's seen the crop circles when they harvested, but... Sometimes it just don't do justice. You're like, eh. And then you're like, oh, Lord. But like I say, we don't have the waiters. I have waiters at home. I rushed home from work. I didn't, and I forgot to grab them. I didn't have them in the range. I had everything loaded up both the waiters. But we got muskrat droppings all over, guys. We may set some coon traps. It is uh, year round in Iowa with dog proofs. We might put some dog proofs in here just because there's so many raccoon tracks in here. Well, hopefully for now, they will stay out of my trap. It's not likely, but We'll probably end up catching some just to help the population down. There's probably nobody else trapped this. Oh, look at the black walnuts. There's a walnut tree somewhere. Something just swam right there. The black walnuts here, boys. Yeah, we got enough depth. We get out there a ways. We got a bed here. Sort of. I thought, I thought it was better than that, but there we go. I like to have this all the way underwater. If I can. Wait, this is so much harder when you're trying not to get soaked. So much harder. There we go. Now they just come up here like they have been. We'll get them right there. So much corn. How deep we gonna be here? Oh, I like that. That's doable. Somewhere there's gonna be a big spot. It's deep. So our entrances are gonna be on that side somewhere. Got a bank den, another bank den. Spot where they're climbing out over there. An old hut over there. There's a bank den right here. And right here is pretty active. I'm gonna put a trap in there. 
they're climbing out and cutting still somewhere it's fresh yeah I made a wrong step boys oh that's gonna leave a mark in the old brand new truck oh man I stepped from there to there and that was it oh no I have to take off my my pants and be in my undies <laughs> trying to keep the truck clean oh man son of a bitch hey, this is gonna be a pretty damn to break is there not a crossover on it that's hard to believe wait they're chewing clear down there well we've We've gotten wet enough, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, they're crossing it right there. So we put a trap there. That seems to be their main way up and down right there. Let's go down this way. Must be a dam down here too. Oh, look at this. A little side hit hustle dam. They put some mud up there. There's a little side dam right here. Well, that's strange. Goes down here to nothing. Crossing over right here. There are beaver tracks right here. So they're using this maybe. I wonder if they're walking right through this tube. Put a 220 right in that damn tube. Oh my god, look at this fucking chewing they're doing. Well, might as well walk over here and look for a minor spot. I got busy on this tree. They cut a lot of trees down. You see this trail right here? I wonder if they're still going up here and chewing on that son of a bitch or they've changed their mind. I'm gonna put a trap right here. I'll find out. Probably still going there. There's a pretty good trail there. We'll see who's been using it. I'm gonna put a trap right there. Well boys, we're back. So windy today, but we're gonna check traps here. Oh, we got something right there. It's like a raccoon. Can't believe I got a raccoon there. I had that I had that trap down deep. But first trap, raccoon. I knew it was gonna be a problem. There's a lot of raccoons here. And I had it deep, so I'm surprised to be honest. Well boys, since it's not so windy, I'll explain a little bit. Huge pond up there, comes into here. The beavers got this big, huge dam, and they got a hut there. Crossover going down, and there's another dam down there. So we got the crossovers covered for now. There's bank dens, hundreds. I mean, there's no way you could ever set all the bank dens. It appears we got something there, maybe. I think I see a claw sticking up. Could be a corn stalk, it's hard to tell. I think it's a claw. It looks like we might have a beaver there. I'm gonna check over here. Farmer wants the beavers out. I'm gonna see. I think I just felt the trap there. Trap is set off here. Darn it. So we got a mess from a raccoon flipped it over or something. See what we got here. Yeah, both of them. Corn stalks out of the way here. They'll interfere with your trap. There's just all these little chewings here. You want to get them out because the wind will float them over your trap, and you'll have them stuck between your jaws. So clear all that stuff out. Let's see what we got. First one here, possibly. It looks like a beaver down there. 
Oh boy, it might actually be the big one, a big one from here. That's pretty good size. Sheesh. You get a picture, you got your phone? <clears throat> That's a big one, guys. Oh, my daddy. <sighs> I am. <laughs> that's a that's a toad. Look at that thing. I did not expect that for the first beaver. Look at the freaking tail on that guy. Luckily the ranger's right there. No hill of death today, boys. Like I say, we're coming to the end in Iowa. The end's already in Missouri. And we my uh, kind of a friend. We became a friend. We met. For those of you who have been around for a while, I met this farmer when he was tearing out beaver dams where I happen to be trapping nearby for the state. And then it's like, uh, I'm not gonna trap there if he's got an excavator there is how it went down. They called him, he goes, I'll be down there in a little bit. And I filmed him tearing out the dams. So it worked out pretty good. Okay, you can see our run right here, there's a slide. Something knocked that trap off the ledge. So we want to get back where we were out here kind of deep, trying to get rid of as much of these corn stalks and stuff we can that are going to interfere. And we're going to kind of figure our, the beaver's this wide. I mean, look how wide that beaver is. He's going to be stepping one side or the other, not dead center. Well, depending on how he comes up here. But trap out deep. Deeper than I normally do, just for the fact of the raccoons. I ain't gonna hurt to kill a few raccoons, but we're trying not to. You see that run? Hopefully. Hopefully you guys can see that runs right there. The crossover. Foot here. That's what we're hoping for, it worked there. And this dam is holding a lot of mud. Like I say, bank dens everywhere. The lodge didn't seem used. I got, I climbed out there. I waded through the water without waders. Doug poked around. I'm gonna check it, but I don't think it's being used. I don't think anybody trapped here, but they could have. And if they did, they missed this guy. So this is a. Oh my gosh, this is a good one. This is a big one. Well, boys, this is some stinky water. This is these beaver have been here for a while. Ah, it stinks. So, there's an old dam here. The beavers, I caught that beaver over there. They gotta be coming through. They, they, they'll be traveling. I don't really have a whole lot of spots to, to set traps here because I'm not gonna put a 3.30 in every hole I find. I, for one, I'd have to get a semi-load of 3.30s. And I'm not gonna play that game where the mole hops up and down, whack a mole, and just guess. So this is all we're gonna do, set the travel areas and keep them set. Right here where I'm at is the deepest spot. We're gonna run this trap down into it. We're in Iowa, so you gotta go all the way down. Like surprise, there's a bridge here suddenly. You gotta go under. And we are gonna wire our trap for this one because I don't wanna go wading through this stanky stuff looking for my beaver. I'm gonna stink him down over here. I should be able to get him to dive right through here or they'll go up another way. Nothing too crazy, but the muskrats are probably going to set this trap off several times. And we'll see how it does. Stay tuned. Alright guys, we're at the dam. Look at this crossover. <clears throat> it's not just beaver, but raccoons and everything. But you can see the beaver. They made this. The beavers are coming up. 
and going to the big pond they go like this around here and boom straight up I mean that's pretty obvious you can put some dog proofs on that the coon are coming this way but this is the beaver we're gonna oh it's windy we're gonna throw a set in here and then I want to show you some reason some of the the reasons you don't want beaver around your pond and I think there's one right here let me see no that's not one let's see how deep this is look at this it's a massive bank bin oh jeez look at that there's one here too you're just saying basically they're just digging and they got them over there you know this might seem like a long ways to that pond but they're digging right here they're heading that way if they pop out on the other side of the levee that pond's gone boom it blows it all right downstream here now farmers okay with having beaver except for they go out and make all the crop circles <laughs> and they haul all the stuff in here you've seen all the corn on the dams just want to give people that aren't trappers see all this damage they do look at this banks caving in banks caving in oh as far as you can see banks caving in the main pond's the same way they're doing it up there too so i'm going to try to get some coming and going because once we start pulling out beaver they'll start moving when, we, when you want to the beaver are going to abandon ship and if they head to this pond we're going to get them because i have not found yet where they're living in that pond but they're somewhere up there there's some corn stalks right here corn stalks all around everywhere you look they've drug them out of the cornfields right here but we pulled out a raccoon pulled out a muskrat and we pulled out one big beaver i just heard something there's a lot of muskrat and we're gonna have a problem with the muskrats but then my ha farmer will be happy he'd be plenty happy with with that for a first check and there's not gonna be a lot of beaver here but we want to get some of them out kind of slow down the destruction I mean, there's a tunnel there clear up there there's just tunnels everywhere well i'm gonna drop in another set i appreciate you guys being here We'll see what we can pull off of this in the next 14 days. Stay tuned.